Hello, hello, Denzel Rodriguez here coming at you yet again with a video about building a relationship with your bank. What are you doing? What are you doing, people? You out here trying to apply for HELOC's personal unsecured line of credit and you're getting denied left and right. I'm telling you, you're not following the rules. You can't just walk up into the bank and just apply, right? I would suggest, even if you have great credit score, if you want to really ground yourself and, and, and really increase your chances of getting approved for the debt tool so that you can go ahead and start applying and practicing the velocity banking concept, is to build a relationship with your bank. What does that mean, Denzel, building a relationship? It simply means that once you've found that local credit union in your area that you're confident it meets the criterias that I laid out for you in terms of a line of credit or a HELOC. If you don't know, if you're brand new, watch my videos prior to this one and you shall know. All right. Now, for those that do know and you've been denied and you're struggling or you can't figure it out, you're like, what the heck's going on? My credit's good or my credit's okay and I got denied. I don't know. Listen, once you found that bank, that offers what we want. All you need to do before you apply, before you apply for anything, become a member at the bank. Open up a checking and a savings account, right? The next thing I would do is go to your HR, your job, transfer direct deposit to that new bank. I would close your bank account with the other bank that you're doing business with that you had your paychecks going to, and I would have all your income all your paychecks, your savings, every I would move all your cash assets over to that new bank that has what we want, which is a HELOC or a line of credit so that you can do velocity banking. Remember, this is only for a temporary period of time until you're completely debt free. Once you're debt free, you're free to go to whatever bank you want. But if the bank you're with right now is not doing you any favors or it's not getting you any closer to getting the debt tool that we want and you're out here applying for credit cards and they're not going to do you any good because I told you to get a line of credit not a credit card all right so build that relationship open up a checkings and a savings move your cash set up bill pay and start flowing the money to and from that bank right start paying bills out of that thing you know just have everything going to that bank this next thing I would do is book an appointment with a loan specialist or a bank manager at that location that you want to get a line of credit from remember this is local you're, you're dealing with a local credit union so they're only gonna have a few branches so go right into that bank do an in-person meeting still do not apply just talk build rapport Ask questions about the HELOC or the personal line of credit. Make sure it meets all the criteria, right? And then you ask them, what are my odds of approval? What do you think? Am I going to get approved for this thing or not? Just ask them. Ask them. I'm telling you. you. You build rapport with these people that work at the bank. You'd be surprised the, the length they're willing to go to help you get what you need. Okay, banks make money off of us all day long. The last thing they want is less clients. Okay, so as long as you are kind and nice and a decent human being, you should be able to get what you want. Okay, and then thirdly, once you've done all that, then you apply. Right now, if you're someone that applied recently, you got denied, I would suggest waiting about three to six months before applying again for a line of credit and in that time period you can be establishing that relationship with the bank you could be doing debt snowball okay with a credit card or just throwing your cash at the smallest debts to try to you know get those things down right and get this thing rocking and rolling and get this thing rocking and rolling okay all right Let's see. 
anything else I can give you today about building a relationship with the bank. Once you've got that debt tool in place, this is for my clients who have been doing velocity banking now for some time, or even people who just watch my channel and they're doing velocity banking on their own. You're making, making it happen. I would say every like six months to a year of having the line of credit or that debt tool in place, go ahead and apply for an increase. You know, gradually increase that, that debt tool and that builds your leverage, builds your capital, keeps building your credit, all right? Other than that, I hope that was really helpful, okay? Build a relationship with your bank is very important. My name is Denzel Rodriguez. I hope you have a wonderful day. And before I clear it on you, I am wearing this hat here, if you didn't notice. My friend, Mr. Joel, out in Colorado, has a nonprofit helping Latin, the, helping the Latin community build businesses, live their dreams, okay, expand opportunities, get noticed, and really be a cheerful giver. So my friend Joel has a nonprofit. I've been giving to his nonprofit, helping him achieve the goals that he wants for his community, his people, and he is also a kingdom builder as well. So in support, I'm asking you all to give to this nonprofit, I believe in what he does. You can you can check out his website. He has a news. He has a Spanish newspaper. He has a business and a nonprofit. He's a kingdom builder. He is my friend. He's a client of mine. This is something that I do and will be doing for my clients. Is I'm going to be supporting you guys in ways you couldn't imagine. All right, I'm just going to be coming up with more and more ideas, ways to keep expanding the kingdom. Mr. Joel doesn't even know I'm doing this, right? So one day he's going to watch this video. He's going to be like, whoa, what's going on? What's going on? He's going to wake up one day. He's going to have loads of blessings, okay? He's got a GoFundMe account to achieve a goal that he wants, to keep building the kingdom, keep spreading good news about the kingdom of God, okay, and his business so he can help Latin entrepreneurs really build, okay? So check him out. I'll have his information in the description below it'll say joel flores kingdom builder got his website his email you can reach out to him you can see the type of work that he's doing and i really hope that this inspires people to want to give to strangers i think it's one of the most satisfying things in life to like just give to strangers i mean i i do it all the time um you know, when people reach out to me through email, sometimes I bless them with a coaching call or sometimes I might help someone financially, literally financially, help them to get to the next goal. It's like once you have abundance in your life, you just, you, you know, you can't hold on to it. You got to let it go, okay? Money is useless when it's not being used. So let's start using the money to do good things. 10x your income. Get the heck out of debt. Get your money right. So we can all become cheerful givers. We're all in this together in this wonderful, beautiful world we call Earth. All right. My name is Denzel. Have a wonderful day and God bless.